Yo, what's up guys? Uh, a couple, maybe a month, two months ago, I made a video about the He-Man Masters of the Universe toy collection book. I did get the second book I was hoping for. It's, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry guys, it took a little while. Lots of things going on, but fine. It did come in. It's pretty damn awesome. So why don't you guys check it out? Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Pacific Demon Carbon Drucker, and well. I got the other He-Man book. If you haven't seen the my first He-Man book, it was about the toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. This is another book that if you're a He-Man fan, you well, it's a must-have. It is the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, a character guide and world compendium. It also covers the Shira and Princess of Power. The artwork is pretty great. You can see all the villains and the heroes. Basically, the it's by Dark Horse Comics. The back is pretty great. You got Dark Horse and Mattel logos. Castle Grayskull. For those who don't know, this is basically every character that's appeared in He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the cartoons, the series. You have, uh, well it's literally colored in blue, but it's a great picture. The Eternia playset, Castle Grayskull, Snake Mountain, Loads of characters. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Character Guide and World Compendium. He-Man Skeletor. Of course, every book has the credits page and Authors, editors, special thanks, tables of contents, basically you got the characters in chapter 1, beasts, creatures, and monsters in chapter 2, Factions, organizations, species, and races in Chapter 3. Chapter 4 is the artifacts, devices, weapons, spells, magic. Is Chapter 5. Locations, Chapter 6. Vehicles and transportation is Chapter 7. A welcome page. Especially if you're not new to the, or if you're new to the He-Man world. And this is basically how they broke everything down. It's in alphabetical order. You got several characters. And literally where they appeared. This guy was in the 1983 Filmation. Masters of the Universe animated series. Certain characters has skilled special abilities, skilled con artist and thief. He was in the UK Masters of the Universe comic magazines. Adi was from the 
2012 DC Masters of the Universe comics. So it does cover quite a bit of characters. Anti-He-Man. Andros. Anti-Man at Arms. Anti-Oracle. I remember this guy. Some pretty, I wouldn't say deep detail, but if you want to learn a lot of the characters, they have actually, like I said, small little imprints of the characters. I believe she was in Shira. Of course, Clawful, the toys, the new version of Clawful from the new Masters of the Universe cartoon, the animated film, his title, other names, affiliations, weaponry, special abilities, Colonel Mark Blaze. think this was from when they got visitors from Earth. The He-Man Dare toy. Darius. Davy Jones. 1985 fil Filmation Pop Animated Series. I mean, it's, if you want to learn more of the characters that's been roaming pretty much all of the Masters of the Universe, the old school, this is definitely something you want to get. Fisto and all his versions. Flipshot. I don't think he carries the new Netflix or... Well, both of the next Flix cartoons one. He-Man and all his versions. Leech. Yes, including the Horde. Merman. Snake face, smudge. I guess it does cover a lot of the widgets. Stinkor. Whiplash and Webster. This is chapter two, the creatures. Honestly, I didn't know there was that much creatures, but it makes sense. I mean, it's a living, breathing world, right? Books of War, Griffins, Granomir, even has his toy from the classic series. Like I said, it literally covers the original He-Man cartoons, all the comics, 
literally up to the new cartoons. The evil cow, red eye. Shadow bees. Swift wind. Storm. Catcher's horse. Chapter 3 is the... F Ooh, Zor. And it has three of the toy versions. I've never seen the white one and I've never seen this one. I had that one but it came with a blue uh, I guess armor set. Got alien races, the ancients, the ancient ones, the ape clan, Buzzoff's people, Whiplash's people, and like I said, it also comes with where they appeared, the date of when they appear, and some small information of basically what they did in that series. The War Star Crew. The Twiggets. This is of course the Chapter 4. Artifacts, Devices and Weapons. Other names, owners, special abilities, primary owners. If you're a He-Man fan, like I said, this is a must-have. The Light Lasso. Gives you detail, the Sword of Power. Skeletor's sword, the sword of evil. In the comics it was called the sword of Eternia. Sword of protection is Shira's. This is chapter 5, the magic spells. It literally gives you all the magic spells that were used. And literally almost all of the Masters of the Universe or He-Man cartoons or comics as well. I think we're already in the next chapter and yep, we're in locations. Castle Grayskull. The Crystal Castle. Eternian Towers. The biggest toy set 
and all of toys. Oh, yeah. The G.I. Joe Defiant was probably thicker. But when you brought up the Defiant to launch, it wasn't taller. The Fright Zone gives you pictures of the cartoon, certain spots. Isle of Tears. Land of the Wolf People. The Royal Palace of Eternius. The Snake Lair. And I love how they have a Skeletor. But it's the future Skeletor. Hey, the Slime Pit. And of course, you can't finish this off well the vehicles and uh, it's a they had some weird vehicles and a lot that never came to toys they had airships air carts the astro sub is from the new cartoon the android horses which I never really got because you, you had burglar horses. The blaster hawk. The jet sled. You went from the sled that was on the side or on the front of the battling ram to this land shark starship eternia and of course all three books or all five books not really all of the books either. This is the art of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the mini comic collection, He-Man and Shira the complete guide to the classic animated adventures if you want to get deeper into the cartoon series for Bolt, the newspaper comics, and this book, the character guide. And another blue artwork, but it has the dinosaurs. Which kind of I don't remember the toys. And you have Blade and that lizard guy. Well guys, I kind of wanted to make this faster than the last video, which was about an hour. <laughs> Sorry for that, but you know, you're talking toys. Yes, Talent Fighter. So this book literally has about 700 pages. 
the ending is 698 with the last two pages being the last I guess uh, thank you and buy the other books pages hope you like what you saw honestly I'm not trying to tell you all to buy it this is definitely something for a real collector or a real fan of the He-Man series you should get not everybody will enjoy it but you know if you want to learn more of the characters or your favorite character definitely something you might want to look into Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, see you soon.